Come in. Come in. Hey, how are you doing today? Yeah, not too good. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. My name is Priscilla, and this is our list. We're both CNAs, and we're here to take your vital signs, okay? You go okay. first. Um, state your name and date of birth first. Oscar Ray, 11968. Okay. Uh, everything checks out. We're just going to start your vital signs, okay? Okay, okay sir. I'm just going to go ahead and lift your arm up. Go ahead and inflate now, okay? Okay. Okay, Mr. You have a blood pressure of 110 over 70. Yeah. Now I'm just going to go ahead and assess your um, pulse, okay? okay? Okay, so your pulse is 106, which is a little bit elevated, sir. Yes, and you have a, a fever as well at 100 degrees Fahrenheit, and your respirations are 20 per minute. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, give this information to your nurse and he will be right in with you, okay, to assess you. All right, thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Hello, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Imran. I'm a nurse here at the hospital. And I'm going to be doing a little bit of an assessment on you today, okay? Okay. Uh, what seems to be a problem? What brings you in here? I'm not feeling well. It's just uh, stomach ache, feel nauseous, uh -huh. a little, a little warm. You know? I think I have a little bit of fever. You're feeling a little bit like. When did yeah. that start? Uh, just uh, last, late last night. Okay. Um, have you felt any pain in your abdomen region? Yes. Yes. The pain started in my abdomen and in my stomach. Where exactly in your abdomen would you say? Right now, it's it starting right on my belly area, but now it's uh, the pain has uh, moved over to the right hand side. The lower right yes, side? Yes. Okay. How would you describe that pain? Is it sharp? Is it kind of pulsating, dull? No, it's, it's sharp. It's a sharp pain? Yeah, and it's constant. Constant, okay. Yeah. From the scale of 0 to 10, what would you rate that pain? I have 7 right now. 7? Okay. Is there anything that you do specifically that maybe makes the pain a little worse? When I'm seated and I lean forward, it, it hurts. Okay. So when you're kind of bending forward and putting a little pressure there, it starts yes. to hurt? Yes. Okay. Is there anything else that you've kind of noticed in the past few days? Changes uh, in your eating, in your appetite, anything like that? No, I really haven't had any uh, good appetite lately, uh, the past two days. Okay. And uh, the same, I haven't been able to go to the bathroom, you know, in the last two days also. In the last couple of days? Yeah. Okay. okay. What I'm going to do is just ask you to go ahead and lay down. Okay. And I'm going to assess your abdomen a little bit more focused, okay? Okay. Out. Out. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and lift your shirt, okay? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to inspect it really fast. I see that there are some scar, some scars in your abdominal region. Uh, your abdomen is flat. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and listen for some bowel sounds, okay? Okay. Now, since you say that your right lower area is the sensitive area, I'm going to check that part last. Okay, so I'm going to start on your left. Okay. Okay, well, it looks like there 
the bowel sounds in your abdomen are a little bit hypoactive, okay? So it's diminished um, and it's not usually as, as much as we would expect. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and percuss next, okay? okay? Again, same thing, I'm gonna start on your left side since your right side is the, the sensitive area, okay? okay? Okay, so I'm just gonna start here in the left lower quadrant, left upper quadrant, right upper, and right lower. Ah. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, so I see that uh, tympani predominates in all the quadrants except that right lower quadrant right there. Um, it is a little bit dull from what I'm hearing. Last thing I'm gonna do is palpate, okay? So I'm gonna press down a little bit on your abdomen and you're gonna feel some pressure, okay? okay. Again, if you feel any pain, just let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna start on your left. Okay, right, left lower, left upper quadrant, right upper quadrant. Okay, and just tell me how much you can bear this right lower quadrant, okay? Oh, right there. Okay. All right, so there is definite tenderness uh, to that right lower quadrant. I'm gonna go ahead and lower this right here for a second. Okay. And I'm gonna perform a series of tests on you, okay? We just wanna be a little bit more thorough and make sure that we can give you the best diagnostic possible, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, well, the first thing I'm gonna do is just check for some rebound tenderness, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this up once again. And just let me know if you feel any pain, okay? Yeah. You do? Yes. Okay. So it's a positive rebound test, positive Bloomberg test. Okay, Mr. Ray, next thing I'm going to do is called a McBurney point test, okay? So I'm going to be touching some parts of your abdomen. And once again, just let me know uh, if you feel any sensitivity right there. We've established some sensitivity already in the right lower quadrant. Uh, but we just want to be a little bit more thorough, okay? Okay. So this is the McBurney point test. What this McBurney point test consists of is me putting a little bit of pressure in the anterior superior spinous process. It's a point right here. And I'm just going to kind of feel from there to your umbilicus, okay? Okay. But more importantly, I'm going to check a point that's a little bit lower. Uh, than the than the point that I mentioned earlier, okay? That's okay. a critical point that we just want to assess right here, okay? Again, that's just right around here. So I'm making that imaginary line from the umbilicus right here. Let me know if you feel anything, okay? Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. Yes. So that is a positive McBurney test. Uh, there's just a couple more tests that I want to run just to make sure, okay? Okay. Mr. Ray, next thing I'm gonna do is call an iliopsoas muscle test. So I'm gonna stand over here on this side and I'm gonna ask you to lift your leg straight up, starting right here, bending at the hip. If you could just keep a straight leg and lift it up. Ow. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure and I want you to try to keep your leg up, okay? okay. Let me know if you feel anything. Ow, yeah, it hurts. It hurts? Yeah. Where does it hurt? Oh, right in here. Right there, okay. So that's a positive iliopsoas muscle test. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is the obturator test, okay? So I'm going to ask you to do something similar to what you just did right now, but I'm going to ask you to lift your leg and bend at the knee, okay? So if you could lift your leg right there as much as you can, and you're going to keep it right here. Now I'm going to bend your knee inwards and outwards, okay? okay. Let me know if you feel anything. So first I'm going to go ahead and abduct the leg. You feel anything? A little bit of pain. A little bit, okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add up. Oh, yeah, right there. Right there? Yeah. Okay, very good. So that's a positive obstructor test. Okay, Mr. Ray, I think I've gotten all the assessment data that I need. I'm gonna go ahead and lower your shirt once again. Okay. Um, are you more comfortable right here in, the, in laying down? Yes, yeah, it feels better. Okay, I'm gonna leave you right here for a moment. I'm gonna go step outside. I'm gonna contact a health provider, your primary health provider here at the here at the hospital, and uh, we're gonna try to get this uh, try to get you feeling better. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. No, thank you, sir. Okay. So I'm just gonna take my gloves off really fast. Do some hand hygiene before I leave. All right.
right? We'll be back soon, okay? Okay. Thank you. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and give you a quick patient handoff right here to a patient in 504. A patient is a 53 year old male coming in with acute pain to the right lower abdominal region. Um, he's exhibiting a fever of about 100 degrees. He has nausea, vomiting uh, symptoms uh, started about two days ago and they've been getting uh, incrementally worse. Uh, I've performed rebound tenderness tests, the burning point test, Loyopsis muscle test and the obturator test all came back positive, okay? I also compiled a Alvarado score, which came out to be a seven. Uh, so it is, uh, he is a high probability of having uh, appendicitis. Right. Yeah. Okay, well then I'll go ahead and uh, notify his primary health care provider and for a possible appendicitis. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Hello, Mr. Ray, how are you feeling? Ah, better. Better? Still a little sore, but uh, definitely doing better. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, well, my name is Maria Reyes. I'm a registered nurse here at the hospital, and I just came here to um, inform you guys about the recovery process and give you suggestions for when you guys go home. Um, is this your daughter? Yes. Could um, you please let her know the, what you're going to let me know so she, so she understands. Yes. She's going to take care of me. Yes, of course. Um, so, first of all, I'm going to ask you, Mr. Ray, to do no heavy lifting um, over 10 pounds just to um, prevent any injuries or cause any more harm. Okay. Um, I will ask you to also have no physical activity for about six months for the same reasons to prevent um, any harm or any more injuries. Um, also, too, since you do have a wound due to the surgery, um, I will need to ask you guys to do some proper wound care. Um, to prevent any infections or any other um, risks that may occur due to not proper cleaning and all that stuff, mm -hmm. okay? Um, also, um, if you can make yourself a well-balanced dietary meal, high in protein, such as uh, chicken, salmon, vegetables, and all that, uh, to speed up the healing process for your benefit. Okay. Um, and as well as, if you can just go ahead and make sure to help him when he wants to walk around, say to the restroom or to any other destinations, uh, just for his benefit and um, to be there if anything may occur. Um, and also to uh, watch out for any fall risk um, factors that may uh, be present at your home, mm -hmm. um, uh, just to prevent all of that stuff. Okay. Um, and then I do have one goal for you. If you can at least take 150 steps daily for me, um, just to promote wound healing and to um, relieve the pain and to just lessen it, okay? okay. So it can help you recover. Okay. Um, do you have any other questions? That's all no, I no, just in case. Like, so just let my daughter know if there's anything yes, else. Yes, of course. Okay. She'll be the one that's... Uh, We'll be taking care of it. Yeah, well, I'm very glad to hear that. Okay. Well, I hope you guys um, do well and hope you recover soon. Okay, Moonstory. Right. Thank, right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. Mars. Thank you.